Now another, just one more that I want to share with you is isolationism. And what that means is that they'll tell you that the only people who have the haqq is us. And if you want to be safe, don't listen to anyone else. Because if you listen to them, you will become misguided. And you want to go to Jannah, right? The only way to go to Jannah is you stay in my halaqa. <laughs> you just listen to me. Because all the other people are misguided. And these people have an updated list of the misguided scholars every week. <laughs> if you want to save yourself, only listen to us. And you know what happens? People listen to them and they isolate themselves. And they isolate themselves from their family. These people cut themselves off from their own family. They don't want to listen to their family anymore. Well, my, my, my parents don't listen to my shaykh, so I don't want to deal with my parents. I don't want to deal with my family because they're not on the haqq. And so you use the deen, and you misuse the deen to isolate people from their own families, from their own communities, from their own societies. Where I live in the United States. There are some isolated communities in the United States. You know what they teach you? They teach you in, this, in these communities, they teach you the non-Muslims, these are the kuffar, they are najas, they are evil people. Don't deal with them. If you deal with them, if you become friends with them, if you talk to them nicely, if you do business with them, they are a fitna, they will take you away from Islam and they will make you kafir. So stay away from them. And so there are masajid in America, in America, there are masajid that have been there for 40 years. And the neighbors, next door neighbors, are non-Muslims. And they have no idea that that's a masjid. Because the people in the masjid say, fitna, the kuffar. Where did you get this from? Where did this come from? If Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not deal with the people in Mecca and he isolated himself, we would not be taking shahada today. I am a Muslim because my father is a Muslim, whose 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 father is a Buddhist. I come from a Buddhist heritage. I looked it up. My great 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 grandfather was actually a Buddhist. And he became a Muslim. Somebody had to talk to him and not treat him like najas. Somebody had to show him courtesy. Somebody had to treat him like a human being. Somebody had to show him love and respect. You know? I was in the elevator in the hotel over here and the guy's name was... Uh, God, what was his name? Ritik. That was his name. Hard to pronounce. Starts with an H. Ritik. Obviously not a Muslim name. You know what happens, you read the name and you say, okay, he's a Muslim guy, Muhammad, assalamu alaikum brother, how are you? Hindu name, man, too. <laughs> no, hey, Ritik, how's it going? Good, sir. He used to work, in the, he works at the hotel. How, how long have you been working? Four months, sir. How's the job? It's hard, sir. Man, it's tough, I know. And we just became friends, we just chatted. Astaghfirullah, I talked to a kafir. Relax, guys. The deen does not teach you to hate non-Muslims. This deen came to bring dignity to all human beings. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam. Allah says, we gave respect to the children of Adam. I'll say that again. Allah says, Allah gave respect to who? To who? Children of Adam. So every child of Adam السلام, has been given respect by who? By Allah. How do you not give them respect? Allah gives them respect, you don't give them respect. And you think Islam tells you to disrespect them? Islam tells you to look at them as evil? You don't even understand the ayah when Allah talks about mushrikun being najas. Where is the ayah? Where does it occur? What surah does it occur in? What context does it occur in? And how does it apply? We don't want to know. Because we just want to look at the surface and not study deeply. We don't have the time to study deeply. This is all the opposite of wisdom.